And in motion was Wilson. Snell will take it. He's got the first down and he's rumbling for plenty more. Miscommunication in the secondary for Florida. Wilson has to scramble and he's got plenty of room down the sideline. Terry Wilson finally forced out of bounds by Donovan Steiner. It's a quarterback dash. It covers 31 yards. Wilson leaves the pocket, throws off his back foot, in zone, touchdown Kentucky, David Bouvier, a 29-yard touchdown reception. Dan Mullen now, remember he got pulled from this game last year, Frank stands tall in the pocket, wide open, and a big game for the Gators, and Jordan started out in the backfield, 31 yards, that'll pick your spirits up. Minute to go in the first quarter. Van Jefferson escapes one, gets a block on the edge, and he's got a Florida first down on a gain of 12. Second and one, and he wants to throw. They get their hands on him and take him down. Phil Hoskins with the sack of Felipe Franks. It's a loss of nine. Saturday night. Tommy Towns in the holder. And McPherson keeps the streak going. 20th consecutive field goal made by this Florida team. It was a, a team with a lot of spirit. They all loved each other. Shoot every championship teams like that. So. Franks finds Kadarius Tony. That's good for a first down. That was a good start. Everybody, uh, uh, you know, was very happy. Oh, that's one more. That's one. It is wide open for the score. 18-yard pass from Felipe Franks. And Florida's got its first lead of the game. Earl Stevens with reception. Plenty of action in the backfield. Wilson finally escapes with a spin move. He's got a first down run for Kentucky on a 14-yard scramble. Three missed tackles for Florida's defense. Pressure again, and Wilson somehow completes it. It's Taven Richardson who takes it for 18. On second and 10, tries to run for it up the middle, lost the football, and Florida pounces on it. Jeremiah Moon has the recovery just when you praise Wilson for better ball control. It gets punched out by James Houston, the fourth. And it's Florida football. And we got a chain link keeping track of 10 yards. They'll move that chain. And maybe they will just lay it down. Here's Benny Snell into Florida territory. Finally tracked down by C.J. Henderson. A 44-yard romp for the SEC's leading rusher a year ago. Wilson taking a shot. Thrown and intercepted by C.J. Henderson. Gators with takeaways to snuff each of the last two Kentucky drives. Instead, the clock will roll out. Kentucky only has one timeout remaining. Remember, they had to burn one with some miscommunication early in the second quarter. Cats will receive the second half kickoff, and I think it's a fair question to ask. And maybe Dick Gabriel's asking it right now. Who's going to be a quarterback for Kentucky in the second half after Terry Wilson commits two more turnovers, both with Kentucky driving? Pressure coming. He will retreat. Now Wilson trying to add lib. He's got a first down. And he gets smoked from behind as he takes it past the 30. A 19-yard run, and so as you said, Wilson will vacate Snell to take the direct snap. And he punches his way through and nearly broke out of there. Out of the pistol. Snell to the outside. And he ducks his way through for another first down. I know. And on the flip fake, Terry Wilson's going to take it to the edge and in. Kentucky back in front on a 24-yard run by Terry Wilson. And then obviously, you got 
Tim Couch, number one overall draft pick, throwing the football to Craig East. You think about those two teams not being able to get a, get a win against Florida, just mind-boggling. Top here. That's Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. Swing pass to both. Stiff arm. Room on the sideline. And finally, popped by Donovan Steiner. Play action. Wilson lets it go. Bowden gets deep. Got it. Touchdown, Kentucky. 54 yards to silence the crowd in the swamp. You might never hear a stadium get that loud and that quiet that quickly. And here comes a blitz. Franks kicks it to the outside. Kadarius Tony. He is electric. And he's able to gain extra yardage with a stiff arm of Lonnie Johnson. It goes for 19. Tony. Tommy Townsend, the punter, is the holder. The right hash, it will curl in. No, they say it was wide. Boy, it certainly looked like it came back in over the right upright. That will end a streak for Florida where they had made 20 consecutive field goals. You can't tell at what point. The refs standing there at the crossbar, crossbar and at the upright have the best view. <laughs> I mean, as an armchair quarterback sitting here, it's, it looks close. He's in a running back for Florida. He'll get the carry on first down. And Davis is able to power his way for a gain of 10. Half, they came out looking deep early in the series. Frank's intercepted! It's Darius West, and Kentucky has the takeaway here in the fourth quarter with an 11-point lead. Trapped. From the end zone, comes to check over the middle. That's good for a Florida first down of Freddie Swain. One touchdown and one pick for Franks. Big hole. And P. Ryan has another first down. This is a drive that started on Florida's one yard line. Complete Van Jefferson. And he bends it over the middle for a first down. They're going to run it on the quarterback draw. Franks gets a couple of big blocks, stays on his feet inside the 40. On that, they're going to throw it. They might not have a lot of time. They dump it underneath. It's good for a first down. And Michael Pirine. And Pirine's got it inside the 15. Here, Commonwealth. To the end zone. Touchdown, Freddie Swain. Florida marches 99 yards. On 15 plays in a four-yard scoring strike from Franks, it is a one-score game. For one on two-point plays. Franks looks back over the middle, robs it in zone, tipped, caught out of the back of the end zone. Malik Davis was the one who had it. Benny Snell to the outside, big block on the edge, and Snell takes it for a Kentucky first down. Bunchy Stallings was a road grader, Cole Kublik. On third and seven. Maybe a yard that time. Jefferson to the left side. He's been Frank's favorite tonight. They'll dump it off. First down for Davis. Taken down at the 25. It's a great first play. I'm here. Frank steps up. Hit as he falls. It falls incomplete. And they catch a break. Four seconds left. Mark Stoops is saying it was a fumble. They have not whistled it dead. And they will get it down to the goal line. And now the line judge says touchdown, Kentucky. Unbelievable. Mark Stoops was yelling, go, go, go. And they're going to take a long look at this one. See it here again. 
That big loop. Felipe Frank's got a big arm, but he does loop the ball in his takeaway. Here's the call. After further review, the ruling on the field of a fumble is confirmed. A touchdown was scored by Kentucky at the end of the play. Game is over. Kentucky fans can excel. Finally, the streak is dead.